Hello everybody. Welcome to a thrift haul video. It's not really a thrift haul though because this uh, bag of stuff was gifted to me from a dear friend. So thank you, you know who you are. Um, if you're new here, I am Alex with Crying Weasel Vintage, which is a vintage clothing shop that I curate. Uh, I'm a one woman show, what can I say? Um, but I've been doing like thrift haul videos and unboxing videos of like secret box or mystery boxes uh, during the pandemic on my Instagram and I thought I would take it to the streets of YouTube. So here we are. Here's this big old bag full of stuff. And just so you can really get how big it is. Um, well, here's me and it doesn't even, the frame is not even, yeah. So we're gonna go through it right now. Okay, so there's a lot of skirts in here. There are some spring things that obviously like I mean, I try to make them work for fall. I probably will, but it'll probably come back around in the spring. Um, and there's some sweaters and stuff. So first up is this like 1970s disco shirt. I'll show you how it goes. So it goes like this and then you tie it in the back and then you tie it around here. And it totally has that, um, Jenny from Forrest Gump when she's kind of strung out on drugs, but she's at a disco vibe, you know? You know the one I'm talking about. So that could be a cool look. <laughs> Minus the being strung out part. This is one of the cutest mini skirts. It needs a little bit of fixing on the back thread seam here, uh, but Look at this mini skirt. I love a mini. I love a skirt. I love a, a cool pattern. This has everything. Can't wait to style it up. Um, here is a like a pastel yellow accordion pleat skirt. It's semi sheer, which is probably gonna be best for the summer. Um, but. I mean, it's like 85 degrees here today on October 7th in Little Rock, Arkansas. So who knows what are rules? There are no rules. This is another pastelish skirt. And I love this pattern. It has like a nod to an animal print. It has, uh, I don't know, what more do you want? It's a below the knee, maybe a midi skirt, depending on your height. Up next is this disco dance t-shirt that someone cut up along the way, but look at how nice and worn in it is. It's so great, a little crop top. I mean, I wish you could feel it. I mean, you can if you buy it, but it's just like the thinnest, most worn in, most comfortable shirt. Um, up next is this bluish, purplish, high-waisted leather skirt. It's a pencil skirt. It has pockets. It's from probably the 80s or 90s. Here is the tag. Pia Rucci. I love leather skirts, especially if they're a fun color. This is like, it's the tuxedo of day dresses, <laughs> of sundresses. Uh, obviously works probably best in the summer, but look at how cute this is. From the 80s, probably like a size six, maybe eight. Um, okay, up next is this Betsy Johnson cami or very short dress. Too short, uh, I don't know, it's spandexy, you can make it work. I'm not here to tell you how to live. Um, next up is this purple silk A-line skirt. It also has pockets. Um, the elastic is like almost, I mean, it works a little bit, kind of shot, but so I would call this like a size 12, 10, 12, something like that. 
so smooth. I'm really excited about these. So I'm all about wearing some sleepwear as just regular wear. And these are some silky burnt orangey red pants with a little cream uh, waistband. I'm obsessed with these. I can't wait to put some boots on with these and some kind of a sweater situation. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, up next is this um, halter top, this striped like 70s halter top. It uh, needs a little bit of repairing on the back seam here, as you can see, which I will do. Um, just a classic halter, looks great tucked into some stuff. Um, okay, up next, this is a cardigan. It's like a Peruvian cardigan, I think. Um, but the tag, the brand is Monarch Knits. Oh my gosh, this tag just came apart. Well, it's old. Um, you can kind of see it. I'll try to preserve that and not mess with it anymore. But look at this. I love the sleeves. It's got the bell sleeves. It's got some alpaca. It's got everything. It's like a medium, probably like a size medium. Um, here is another cardigan. This one's quite chonky and it's probably from the sixties. Look at it. Would you just look at it? It's so thick, so cozy cos. I'm excited to style this up because I mean, it's very high, if that's how you pronounce that. Wear it in your freaking cottage, I don't care. Um, this one, I'm actually not sure if this is vintage. I don't think it is. And so I might keep it, but I'll show you anyways. It's a dress. It's just a cute little day dress and it's blue and it has buttons, but it's not vintage, so I can't sell it. This is a reworked piece. She told me about this. So if you follow the designer Lars Kemp, this is a Lars Kemp original. It's made from a vintage men's button down shirt. And it's a little tank top. Isn't that the cutest? It's just fun. You know, it's just fun. Up next is a sweater vest with Bay Hill. Dunno, why not? And it probably is from like the 70s or 80s, probably the 80s. It's active sportswear. Up next is another sweater vest. This one's from the 70s or 80s. And it is like a double V kind of cropped sweater vest. Isn't this so cute? I mean, I wouldn't even call it a, a sweater vest. I would just call it like a knit top, but I'm really into this top. Okay, this sweater rolls. This is from the 80s. It's just a cute little knit. It almost has like a Henley vibe with the closure up there with the neckline, but it's just the, it's the perfect sweater. Look for it soon on my Etsy. This is another sweater that has been modified by a previous owner. Uh, it's from the eighties. I'm gonna try to do my best to figure out how to like stop this from fraying more because I honestly don't hate how the neckline was cut off and I love that they preserved the tag. Um, but it's just like a sweet little country sweater. Up next is another cardigan from the 70s. This one has real cute little wooden toggles. It needs a good soak. Um, it even has some bell sleeve action. This is cute. It's like a, it's a tunic. It's a cardigan tunic. The last thing is this uh, skirt, this like, tweed skirt suit reminiscent of Jackie O's sister <laughs> um here is the jacket got a nice little cropped jacket I'll just put it on why not this isn't a trying on video but now it is oh 
Wear it in the office. Wear it in your home office. Split it up and do separates. Here's the skirt, by the way. Didn't say, but this is obviously the skirt. And that's it. I will be cleaning all these things and then styling them up and posting them to my Etsy soon. Thank you for joining me on this round of thrift haul video. It's a haul, whatever. It's maybe not a thrift haul, but it's a haul, y'all. <laughs> Bye.